Hi guys, I'm Etta Rosa with Etta Rosa LLC. We are a paralegal firm and we also offer legal consulting for law firms. So congratulations on creating your process. Now we're gonna move on building your team. Super important. Um, so if you already have a team, then you wanna modify your team. You want to train them. You want to see um, where their personality fits a specific task once uh, according to your process. So if your paralegal is really strong in drafting and legal research, put them on that part of the process. If your receptionist is really good at scheduling, things like that, put them on that part of the process. So you have to enhance their skills by providing them tasks that you know they will excel at. Um, and that all starts with you knowing your team and knowing what they're really good at. That way, you have the proper people in the proper position. Your process will succeed because you have those people where they need to be and you've already trained them so they should have no excuse to succeed in that actual um, task or part of your process, so to speak. So how do you build a team? Let's say you're starting from scratch or let's say you have like holes, right? So you created your process and you're like, oh man, I may need a receptionist or you know what? I have a paralegal, but I might need a legal assistant to help my paralegals so that my process can properly, you know, succeed and stream and be streamlined accordingly. So if that's the case, then, and you are thinking of hiring or you're thinking of outsourcing or replacing it with some type of software, great. So building your team doesn't have to be an actual person in that particular process. It could be a software, it could be an app, it could be an automation. So let's say you're having issues with your scheduling and it's taking up a lot of your paralegal's time. So hire a virtual scheduling assistant, you know, somebody at low cost that you don't have to, you know, overhead if budget is an issue. Just hire a scheduling assistant or hire a, hire a legal assistant to do your front desk work and your scheduling. That way they have always something to do and that they can constantly communicate with your actual paralegal. So what, is, what does all this mean, right? So I like to quote Peter, um, Peter Drucker, which is arguably saw as the management consultant. And he always said that culture eats strategy for lunch. It's all about your strategy. It's all about putting the players in the game in the proper position so that you can get that ultimate end game, right? You can get that trophy at the end and you can get a happy client and you can get reoccurring clients and you can get referrals. This is what it's all about. This is the whole reason why you're in this, right? To help people and to have a good name out there and to succeed and just enjoy your actual firm right? And not be stressed out by your firm. So by putting the proper players in the game, you're going to have that, but you just need to know your team. And if you don't have a team, then you build your team. Interviewing is a major, major thing. Um, you know, it's so saturated that you can get millions of resumes and you just don't know what to do with that. So why don't you be more specific? in your job description. This is exactly what I need. This is the amount of time that I think it's gonna be. And this is the skills that I need you to have. That way, cuts down half of the people. It'll sometimes, depending on which hiring service you use, it'll have an algorithm that will block out anybody that doesn't have those skills, do a questionnaire, do a, um, what I call like a pre-quiz where they answer a couple of questions. Not only the questionnaires are pretty general, but these are more specific to your firm and exactly what you're looking for. This will help narrow down before you actually do the in-person interview. I have law firms that do, I believe maybe like five different uh, types of interviews before they even walk into a law, the law firm and actually have an official interview with the attorney. So Depends on how far you want to take it and how specific you want to be and how invested you want to be um, is how I would do that. But look into it, you know, certain types of interview options. Um, if you want to go the automation route, great, automate. Um, there's a lot of softwares out there that you can get to automate your scheduling where the client just goes into your calendar, clicks on it, blah, blah, blah. But make sure you have somebody managing that, right? You never just want to leave it um crazy and you always want to do 
blocking. That's very important that you want to. So what was Peter talking about when he said that, that culture eats strategy for breakfast? You have to know your team and you can't just say, here you go, bye. No. Um, if your particular person is a visual learner or needs to be handheld or whatever the case may be, and you particularly are unable to do that, then that's something that you need to think about. And that's something that you should maybe retask or have somebody else do it for you. Um, these are things that creating a culture in your uh, firm and creating that healthy environment if you treat your staff right and you understand your staff and how they work, the success will come on its own because they will be more willing to do stuff for you. And if you keep them happy, and it doesn't necessarily have to be financially, although obviously that's always a benefit, but if you keep them happy and you keep the environment healthy for them, the work will come, the success will come because they'll be happy to work for you and they'll do the actual work that they need to do. So with that in mind, we're going to move forward and I hope you enjoyed this video and join us on the next one. Have a good one.